Hello everyone, this is Wilson here. Today we want to talk about finding a vector function for the line segment from this point to the other point. So if you have seen my the other video about finding a line segment from one point to the other point, that version, that video was actually the 2D version and this time we are just going to do a 3D version. Uh, what is the difference? The only difference is really just that you get an extra component right here. There was the C direction. Uh, it, so we are actually having two points in the space, right? For that video, then you actually just get uh, a point that's an order pair that's in the X, Y plane. But this time we have the Z values for the two points. And that's the only difference. The whole process would be exactly the same. Okay, so let's get started. First, we are going to um, just write down the equation, right? For just write down the vector function. Um, so if we recall that, then we are actually getting what? That's R of T, okay? That's equal to R naught plus TV, okay? And then there should be a restriction because we are talking about a line segment here, so it's not a line. So the restriction for the T would be from zero to one, including the zero and the one, okay? Then you may say, what about, uh, what are those? R naught and then the V. We know that the T is the parameter, but what is the R naught? R naught is actually the position vector. Okay, so that's the position vector of a point on the line segment. Um, because this time we do have a direction that we want to trace the line segment, right? We get a trace from this point to the other point. And so in this case, we actually want R0 to be uh, the position vector for this point, right? In this case, we actually call this point, this point right here, the first point that we see in the problem, right? If, uh, because we are going from this point, right? So we call this one the initial point. And what about the point that we get to? That would be the terminal point, right? So we can call that the terminal point of the line segment. Okay, so now one more thing that we need to specify here is that the, there was the V here. What is the V? The V is actually the direction vector, right? That's the vector that's parallel to the line segment that we are trying to find. So this is the direction vector. Okay, so we're getting this direction vector. It can actually be found by taking the terminal point, subtracting the initial point so that we can get a direction vector for the line segment that we're trying to determine here. Okay, so everything is ready. We are ready to actually come up with a solution. So let's do that. So first we are going to just write down, um, we are just going to write down the R0, which is, um, what is that? The R0 is actually our initial point, right? So we are going to be getting just this point right here, but remember it's a vector, it's a position vector. So we are gonna use just the XYZ, com uh, XYZ values for the XYZ components for this. And so as you know that for a position vector, the initial point is actually at the, um, its tail is actually at the origin. So now its head is actually the, it's pointing to this point. So that's why we have one, negative two and zero. That's exactly those three values that we put here. Okay, so now the, uh, the direction vector. Direction vector is going to be given by what? We take the terminal point, subtracting the initial point. So it's going to be, so we'll take the seven, right? And then we minus, minus the X value of the initial point, which is one, right? Okay, so we get that. And then now second component is to take the Y value of the terminal point, subtract the Y value of the initial point. So we get the one here, right? Well, actually that should also be a green, right? So one, and then now minus, minus one, one minus this negative two. So we gotta put the negative two here. So make sure that you don't just put the two, you gotta put negative two because this minus sign comes from constructing the direction vector, that minus sign comes from the Y value of the initial point. Okay, so last component, so we are going to be getting, what is that? That's going to be minus one, right? So we are taking the Z value of the terminal point, subtract, subtract what? Subtract the zero, right? Subtract the zero. Okay, so now doing the calculation, we get six, we get three, we get negative one. 
Okay, so now we have both things, right? We have the R naught and also have the V. So we are ready to come back to the function and then just fill in everything in there. So we have R of T that's equal to, what is that? That's going to be one, right? So we have one, negative two and zero, right? And then plus T times what? T times this direction vector, so 6, 3, negative 1. Okay, and then let's do the calculation first. So we are going to get 1, negative 2, 0. Distribute the t, we get 6t, 3t, negative t. And then just add the two vectors together, right? So we are going to be getting 1 plus 6t, negative 2 plus 3t, and then 0 minus t, right? So just negative t. And don't forget that we got to put the restriction for the t, right? So the domain for the t is going from 0 to 1. And so we can do a quick check here. So if we put in the 0, we get 1, negative 2, and then 0, which is exactly the initial point here. And when we put in the 1, then we are going to get 1 plus 6, which is 7, right? Put in the 1 here, 3 minus 2, we get 1. Put in the 1 here, we get negative 1. So we are getting the terminal point as we plug in the one. So um, when we plug in zero, we get the initial point and then we increase the T, then we are going to be getting all the points, right? Between those two points. And then now we plug in the one, then we are gonna get the terminal point. So that would be our final answer. Okay, so that's it. To help me make math learning available to everyone, please share my videos to others and subscribe my channel. It will give me support to make more videos. Let's work together to help students and children learn math more easily. Thank you for watching. This.